about how to do a pitch session. A pitch session has somebody who's doing the pitch and a group of students who are uh, essentially receiving the pitch. Um, and if you're doing the pitch, uh, you actually don't need to keep the notes out necessarily because the group will guide you through it or the facilitator will guide you through it. If you're doing the pitch, in other words, you're explaining your project, it's most important that you have this part of the chart ready because this is where you're going to capture ideas that come out of the pitch session. So if you're about to show, let's say, the ugly scribbles portion, have this part ready and your notes for the pitch so that after it's over, you can take your notes here. If you are the people who are listening to the pitch, you should have this chart ready, which in many cases is prepared on a laminated uh, sheet that Mr. Wolk will pass out. Um, and the facilitator should uh, also appoint somebody to keep time because it goes one minute, three minutes, three minutes, and one minute. The first minute is just for the person to pitch their idea. And everybody should sit quietly and listen, not interrupt, not heckle, no joking, just listen to what they have to say. The second part is where the group can ask questions. Now notice that all these questions are purely about clarification. So you might ask what something is supposed to represent, or in the final version, um, what might a certain element of the scribble uh, What's the intent of the person? If they don't have the answer to those, it's not the time to explore. The answer should just be, I don't know, and then you move on. This is just you getting clarification. The next phase, three minutes, is where the presenter sits out of the circle and doesn't say anything, but is sitting close enough to listen, and the group uh, openly shares their reactions. Don't talk about what you like. This is not about what you like um, and whether you enjoyed the, pro the pitch or not. This is purely about... Um, helping to give the person ideas. And so um, avoid terms like I like or this is perfect, there's nothing to change or there's nothing bad about it. This is not about good or bad. Um, the real prompt that we're looking for is this phrase. If this was my project, um, I'd think about adding or changing or developing this element of it. Um, uh, think freely and explore ideas. Uh, the group can explore ideas that pops that pops into their mind the person who's pitching can jot them down if he or she hears things that he or she likes um, because the group is just uh, playing around with ideas. So definitely, if this was my project, you should say. And you can also say, I wonder if, or I wish that the person included, or what if he or she also included these elements? So avoid these, but certainly use these. After three minutes of this, um, then the, the, the person who did the pitch will then just kind of react um, to the different things that they heard. They can respond to different points. They have a minute to do that. Um, and then as the next person is getting ready to speak, the person who pitched should definitely jot their ideas down there. Uh, that is a pitch session. It's very similar whether you're pitching your ugly scribble to prepare for prototype one, whether you're, you've just pitched prototype one and you're preparing for prototype two, and in some projects you prepare for a hypothetical prototype three, saying what you would do if you were going to do another prototype but not necessarily doing one, um, the requirements for that will be clarified later. That is how to do a pitch group.